Good morning, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Conversations Daddy News. Glad you all could be with us. Well, it's a brand new day, it's a brand new week, and that means it's a brand new opportunity. If you did do something amazing and it all begins today, it also means that this week we're saying goodbye to November, and if you can believe it, welcoming in the month of December. This year is almost over, but so glad you all could be with us. We, of course, have your news headlines coming up on this Monday. We have a message from my book, Words I Choose to Live By, and in today's Entertainment Spotlight, we part of my conversation with actor R. Marcus Taylor discussing his year and success. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb, but there are Monday headlines in international news, pockets of shelling across Ukraine as wintry warfare looms. Russian forces struck eastern and southern Ukraine early Sunday as utility crews scrambled to restore power, water, and heating with the onset of snow and frigid temperatures while civilians continued to leave the southern city of Kherson because of the devastation wreaked by recent attacks and their fears of more ahead. With persistent snowfall blanketing the capital Kiev on Sunday, analysts predicted that wintry weather, bringing with it frozen terrain and grueling fighting conditions, could have an increasing impact on the conflict that has raged since Russian forces invaded Ukraine more than nine months ago. Both sides were already bogged down by heavy rain and muddy battlefield conditions, said the experts. After a blistering series of Russian artillery strikes on infrastructure that started last month, workers were fanning out in around-the-clock deployments to restore key basic services as many Ukrainians were forced to cope with only a few hours of electricity per day if any. The state power grid operator said on Sunday that electricity producers are now supplying about 80% of demand compared to 75% the previous day. The deprivations have revived jousting between Ukraine's president and Kiev's mayor. Kiev's mayor on Sunday defended himself against allegations leveled by President Zelensky that too many Kiev residents were still without power and that insufficient centers have been set up for them to stock up on food, water, battery power, and other essentials. The mayor of Kiev wrote on Telegram Sunday that hundreds of such centers are in operation, as well as hundreds of emergency generators, adding that I do not want, especially in the current situation, to enter into political battles. It's ridiculous. The president and the mayor have sporadically sparred since Zelensky took office in 2019. Zelensky has accused Kiev's mayor and other officials around him of corruption, while Kiev's mayor contends the president's office has put him under political pressure. The Institute for the Study of War, a think tank that has been closely monitoring developments in Ukraine, said reporting from both sides indicated that heavy rain and mud have had an impact, along with wider freezing expected along the front lines in the coming days. The think tank also cited reports that Russian forces were moving multiple launch rocket and ground-to-air missile systems into positions closer to the city as part of a possible plan to step up the tempo of rocket and anti-air missile strikes against ground targets north of the Dnieper River in the coming days. Kherson City, which was liberated more than two weeks ago, a development that Zelensky called a turning point in the war, has faced intense shelling in recent days by Russian forces nearby. The top UN official in Ukraine says civilians, many of whom lamented unlivable conditions and feared more strikes to come, continue to pour out of Kherson on Sunday. In business news, U.S. stocks wobble to a mixed close, indexes keep weekly gains. Stocks wobble to a mixed close on Wall Street Friday, but every major index notch weekly gains in a holiday-shortened week. Investors face a relatively quiet day, though concerns about inflation, high interest rates, and potential recession still loom over Wall Street. Markets were closed on Thursday for the Thanksgiving holiday and closed at 1 p.m. Eastern on Friday. The S&P 500 fell 1.14 points, or less than 0.1%, to close at 4,026. Nearly 70% of stocks in the benchmark index gained ground, but the broader market was dragged lower by technology companies. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 153 points, or 0.4%, to 34,347. The Nasdaq fell 59 points, or 0.5%, to 11,226. In entertainment news, fame and flash dance singer and actor Irene Cara dies at 63. Oscar, Golden Globe, and two-time Grammy-winning singer-actress Irene Cara, who starred in sang the title cut from the 1980 hit movie Fame, and then belted out the era-defining hit Flesh Dance, What a Feeling, from 1983's Flesh Dance has died. Her publicist announced the news on social media, writing that a cause of death was currently unknown. The publicist also confirmed the death to an Associated Press reporter over the weekend. 
Kara died at her home in Florida, the exact date of her death was not disclosed. And finally, in more entertainment news, Black Panther reigns again over the Thanksgiving weekend box office. Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever raked in an additional $64 million over the Thanksgiving weekend, which went from Wednesday through Sunday. $46 million of that was from the weekend alone. The superhero sequel has reigned over the charts for three weekends now and has grossed more than $670 million worldwide. That made the top five movies over the weekend. Number one, Black Panther Wakanda Forever with $46 million. Number two, Strange World with $12 million. Number three, Devotion with $6 million. Number four, The Menu with $5 million. And number five, Black Adam with $3 million. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's now time for a message from my book, Words I Choose to Live By. Enjoy. Good Monday, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Words I Choose to Live By. Here's to a new day to do something bold that will change the world. Don't think it's possible? Remember, just like a baby begins to walk, everything begins with a small step. You never know how much you can achieve until you make the first move. Have an amazing Monday. We are part of my conversation coming up with R. Marcus Taylor in today's Entertainment Spotlight. Stay with us. You're listening. The Conversation Daddy News. For Conversation Daddy News, I'm Cyrus Webb with Entertainment Spotlight. Actor R. Marcus Taylor joined me on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about the year that's been 2022 and his success. Here's a bit of our conversation. Marcus, hello team. Welcome back to the program. Man. How you doing? What's going on? Hey, good hey to be man, back. Doing, re- doing really good. Glad to speak with you again, man. Well, first of all, congratulations on the year that's been 2022. I want to begin with the reflection, man, because I think a lot of times around this time, People are not only thinking about, you know, gratitude, but also just on the journey here. What has it been like for you to kind of reflect on that journey for yourself? Um, that nothing's forever, and new things always happen. Something ends, new things begin. So that's what I think I've um, been experiencing. Like, you know, a year and a half ago, I was way over over 300 something pounds and now i'm you know 140 pounds lighter (laughs) i'm eating healthy uh i'm exercising um i feel i have a whole new outlet look on life and uh ties into my job my career and even with the, the the weight loss at at a, at one point, it was hard to get get work because everybody saw me as a really big black man. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it hasn't been like that. I mean, it's not. That's not me. It was never really me anyway. But you know, when you when you're a good actor, I guess, or you play a, you play parts well, a lot of people want to see you as that character. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning into this edition of Conversation Daddy Needs. We're about to get on to more, more news, message from my book, words that choose to live by, and of course, your entertainment spotlight. Until then, number host Cyrus Webb saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversation Daddy Needs today. Then let's go make it a great one.